Hey everyone, it's me. I made it down here to the lake. Look how it's gotten pretty full, but we still could use some more rain. But remember when, where those trees are, right there? Remember when that was all dirt? Oh, I hit it. Let me fix this. <clears throat> anyway, it's looking much better than before. And behind me, it looks pretty full. Remember when that was all just dirt? So I made it down here and I wanted to call you up to, um, to talk about something. I just got caught in fishing line. Yep. Look at that, it's getting full. I don't know if you can see it all that what i wanted to talk about was uh, this morning i got up and did some things and then was on my phone and i saw i got a comment it's been deleted so and i can't even remember who it was from but i got a comment in my my last car update video and uh they were not very nice <laughs> a lot of well they cussed me out and accused me of complaining about the car issues accused me of begging for help whoa the water is really high here watch out for snakes begging uh accusing me of begging my subscribers for help and uh, just on and on so I deleted it first of all because of all that potty talk who wants to read that kind of language and I don't want to have anyone any of my subscribers you know go to battle for me I don't want no battle going back and forth, so it was just better to delete that. But um, <clears throat> I did go back to my last two car videos, you know, to examine examine myself, things I said, or maybe how I came across. And um, I watched both of the last two videos. I'll show you this part, the marina. And I didn't feel like I came across as complaining about the car issues. I was just really calling up my friends, you, all of you, and sharing what was going on. But God knows I, I was not complaining. In fact, I, I gave thanks for all of the car trouble. The Bible says, give thanks in all things. Rejoice in the Lord always. I have said it many times, no matter what we go through does not change who God is. So I, I thanked God both times that the car, well, all three times that the car wouldn't start. So thankful that the first time it happened at home where I was safe. Um, the second time it happened at the church and I could go back in in the air conditioning and wait for help. The third time was at my friend's business where I could also go in air conditioning and wait for help I was not by the road standing in a hot ditch trying to flag down or call help and then have to pay for a tow on top of repair none of that happened and I, I just remember in my videos giving thanks to God for what happened and where it happened and that the Lord saw fit to send help each time so I don't know where the person um, figured out I was complaining and I sure was not begging for any help. I haven't even, and I'm not going to mention the cost in any video. I have shared it with just a couple friends, like through email, but not because I'm, I'm looking for any help. I have been on my own a long time which is a long story and um, 
and I have learned through the years how to manage money sometimes the hard way I've learned but I've learned and I try to put back a little bit here and there for you know maybe um, ten dollars a month or maybe sometimes 25 in an envelope for a car I try to put some away in another envelope for hotel only because I live in a travel trailer and we often lose power here in my part of Texas and if it's really hot hot weather and I lose power and we don't know you know when it's gonna come on I can't stay in that trailer with my health conditions and those two fur babies I, I would have to go to a hotel same thing in the winter I mean I can do my best to put on layers of clothes and lots of blankets you know to keep warm but there could come a time even in the winter for whatever reason that I would have to seek another place for shelter and um, so I try to put back for things like that sometimes I have to take from what I'm putting back for to pay something else but that's just life I'm not I'm not um, sad about it I'm not depressed or angry and I'm not asking for any help or begging has has that person accused me of the Lord owns it all God owns it all so I don't know um, why the person was so angry and hateful it could be that because I mentioned God not everyone appreciates that but this is my channel and they ought to go look at my about page because the first statement I make is that I love God I am not ashamed of God he is my everything he's the center of my life I'm not ashamed and um, I'm not gonna not mention God in in videos so I don't know if that got the person upset they said they were gonna leave and I, I suspect that they did and maybe took a couple with them because some numbers went down but I'm not I'm not making videos or doing YouTube for a business I know a lot of people do and that's great I'm not I don't have the um, energy physically to to do that physically or mentally I, I can see it wears some people out and I don't want YouTube to be the center of my life and I'm not saying that it's the center of people's lives that have made it a business people are creative in that way I'm not I'm just doing it to uh, to network to make friends I hope somehow I can encourage someone that's it for me so uh, yeah it it makes you feel good when you start out with 30 something subscribers and and now um, is that a snake and now uh, I have a little over 700 it makes the person feel good and yes I have sometimes asked people to share me out and I did set the goal for 700 and I made it and I may set another goal but that don't mean that I'm just counting on numbers numbers come and go people come and go um, so yeah I guess that person left and maybe took a couple others with them I hope hope the best for them and uh, hope that they will examine their heart because when you're that angry or that ugly towards someone that you don't even know I don't know if I can show you this this is a neat flower weed flower I guess uh, when you have that much ugliness to say or to put in a comment to someone you don't know in person you don't know a whole lot about me you're judging me off two videos or one video um, I don't know the Bible says out of the abundance 
of the heart, the mouth speaketh. And I used to have a preacher that he would say, whatever's in your heart's going to come out of your mouth eventually. <laughs> and it's true. Hey, we need to examine ourselves. Science, doctors, and also in the mental health profession, they have studied and they have said for a long time, I mean, it goes back centuries, I think, to like some of the Greek philosophers, and they've, they've said that the heart is the seat, the seat to emotions, and how true. Hey, the Bible already told us that. Just from that scripture I just quoted and other scriptures that God tells us, you know, guard our heart, guard our mouth, set a watch over our mouths. We better be careful what we say and how we treat people because it's a reflection of what's in our heart. What are we going through in our own life? So I just wanted to mention that and I'm not sorry I'm not apologizing for anything I said in either one of those videos because I I don't feel like I came across the way the person is accusing me of and yes they brought up uh, that I have PayPal but so what <laughs> I have PayPal be because I have a website both of which I had before I started to create content. So having the website to sell my crochet, I, I have PayPal. And yes, I have it linked to my About page, but also the link to my website is there. I mean, that just makes sense. I don't go around saying in my videos, send me PayPal or, no. Um, so me having a PayPal also made that person angry. There have been some subscribers <clears throat> who have sent some PayPal money for this or that or the other. Um, one sent some money a while back and specifically said that it was to help rescue blankets from the thrift store. Wonderful. And I did. And I showed, um blankets that I rescued with that with that blessing and um, I had donated two of them way back to the Prestonwood Pregnancy Center this other one the white one that I used that money what was left to rescue a blanket I used it to rescue it um, you know I've remade it and the remake I'm donating to the Prestonwood Pregnancy Center and then the one that I bought, um, a subscriber who wants to remain anonymous was interested in buying it. And I said, um, I will just mail it to you. So, you know, that's what I do. And yes, I am going to remake it again. In the second remake, I am going to put in my website. But... The point is about that is that the person that sent that PayPal money specifically said to help rescue blankets and I used it for that and I showed it in videos. Um, other ones that have sent some money were not very specific. They said, you know, for whatever or I think one said to help with postage when I had, uh, I think, my first giveaway and I put it towards that. I'm, I'm a very honest steward of whatever God allows me to have, because like I say, God owns it all. So I'm just clarifying these things that this person accused me of wrongly. And I know I don't even have to do a video like this, but I want to because if there's a lot of um, new people I'm seeing, I'm seeing them in lives, and they participate in the lives, and some say I don't have the courage to make content, I don't want to make content, and recently some have 
said uh, I'm gonna start making content or I just started making content I don't know if these people are subscribed to me or not I, I see them in several other people's lives if they happen to see this video I hope it encourages them that no matter what ugly remarks uh, comments that you get just delete them you don't have to even respond to them just delete them because you don't want to get caught up in no mess with you replying to them or people that are subscribed to you go into battle for you it i don't think i haven't been a part of any of that because i i don't fall into it but i don't think it would be worth it for anyone and so you you new creators if you get um nasty comments just delete them like i say don't even mention the the um person's name when you make a video delete it take a deep breath let it out and then move forward don't even think about it um don't let it take up space there's all kinds of people out here and we know this when we decide to put out videos we open ourselves up to all the different kinds of people that are out there but we can be strong we can be encouraged and we can continue to make our videos and block the haters delete the haters and uh you'll make many many more friends and network a whole lot more than any amount of haters i i promise you that i i think i have to look but i i think i'm up to a year now of putting out content it was either june or july i'll have to look and i have made wonderful contacts and uh, i'm thankful for each subscriber i know some people watch and they don't con comment but they're watching but they're there and maybe some people have subscri subscribed and maybe life has got busy or you know whatever and they haven't been able to watch or comment but you know what they're there and my videos are there for whenever they are able to watch them so there's so much more to be thankful for with this platform than these are other ones that pop up and just want to make trouble they want to discourage people i'll tell you what the law of the harvest is still true we reap what we sow you go around sowing ugliness uh it's not gonna be good you can't and it goes for people that you don't know like this person don't know me but they show her ugly God pays attention to that. He sure does. So, I'll let everyone go because I'm thirsty. <laughs> but uh, I want you to know I appreciate you all. And remember, be kind to everybody because somebody's having a bad day. Thank you.